We're going with these spare ribs today. We're going to trim these down to St. Louis style, but first let's go see what we're going to smoke these on. All right, we're going to run with the uh, Primo LG300 American-made ceramic smoker. Uh, the oval shape is perfect for these ribs. Uh, we're going to be running some lump charcoal and uh, just some hickory. And uh, it's a beautiful day out today, so uh, this should be perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and torch this uh, little tumbleweed starter up. Um, I wouldn't suggest using any lighter fluid. Uh, that stuff is no good for ceramic cookers. All right, we got our lit. Let's go ahead and open up this bottom damper and let some air get through there and uh, really uh, get this charcoal lit. All right, the fire went out inside there. We're going to open up the top damper all the way. The bottom damper is open, and we're going to get this uh, bad boy up to temp. You don't have to use a ceramic smoker or a Kamado style. You can use any kind you want. This is just what I have. Um, I also like to use a barrel smoker. Uh, you could use a gas grill, and you can run them in direct. You could use a kettle. Uh, pretty much anything you want. Uh, this is just what I prefer. Uh, temperature's getting up, so we're going to go ahead and put the heat deflectors in. Uh, that way they uh, go ahead and get up to temp as well. As the temps are going up on this, I like to kind of do things in segments. Uh, now we're going to add a drip pan, and we are going to go ahead and throw some beer in there. Uh, the liquid is really just to catch the fat that falls off of the uh, ribs. Now that that's all done, we'll go ahead and put the grill grates on top. Now that everything is in place uh, and this thing's really getting up the temp, I like to feel the ceramic. Uh, you can kind of feel the heat infusing into the ceramic and uh, that way you know that you're going to hold a constant temp once you get it up to that point. We're into the 200 range now, so now we'll start tapering off those dampers and uh, we'll slow some of this heat down uh, until we hit our target temp, 240. We're right at that 235, 240 range, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, get those dampers closed where we need them to hold that temp. Close the bottom damper, just leave a little bit open, and uh, we should stick right at 240. Now that our smoker is pretty much up the temp, we're going to come back in. Let's take a look at these ribs. Uh, on the underside of these ribs, you got this uh, flap of fat. You want to go ahead and cut that off. Cut it as close to the bone as you can. And then go ahead and taper the bottom off as well. I don't need to do much to the sides. This is a really nice cut. Uh, so we'll just leave that alone. All right, as you can see, I cut off that uh, fat flap. And I went ahead and tapered off the bottom edge. Uh, again, the sides don't need much. This is a, a pretty nice square cut. To start removing the membrane, I like to take a spoon and just kind of lift up the bottom part of the membrane. And then we'll grab a paper towel. So we grabbed our paper towel. Uh, we'll start at that point where we lifted up that membrane. It's not always going to come off in one piece. Uh, like here, it's coming off in two separate pieces. That's no big deal. We'll just keep tearing away until we get it all off. Uh, just keep grabbing, and eventually you'll get it, and you'll get that thing yanked right off, just like we just did there. Now that we have all that trimmed off, a lot of people use rub on the bottom. I don't. I like to use just salt and pepper. Why use salt and pepper on the bottom? I just don't see the point in using rub. Uh, there's no meat down there, uh, and I'd rather just have a little hit of salt and pepper on there. It's just my preference. Now we flip this back over, you're going to see some fat on the top part. Uh, you can go ahead and trim those pieces off as well, but leave a little bit on there. These guys are all trimmed up now, and uh, we're going to use uh, regular mustard as a binder. Sometimes I use uh, hot sauce. Uh, mustard seems to work really well for me. Uh, again, I'm not going to do any on the undercarriage. I just don't see the point in doing anything on the bottom. Uh, this is just uh, a little easier for me. We'll go ahead and add our rub now. I'm going to use Code 3 Spices Backdraft Rub. Uh, these guys are locally made. Uh, it's a great company. Uh, they donate a lot to charity, and their product is just phenomenal. Uh, this is kind of a hot and smoky mix, and we're going to hit this all the way down. You get the drift. All right, these are all rubbed up. We're going to let the uh, pores open up and get some meat sweats and let that rub just absorb right into that meat. 
Still sitting pretty at that 235, 240 range. Let's open her up and get those ribs on. All right, they're on and ready to go. I'm gonna whip up a quick mop for these. A lot of people use apple juice as a mist. Um, I'm gonna mix this with hot sauce just to give it kind of a sweet and heat zing. Uh, a lot of people might ask why I'm not using a meat thermometer uh, throughout my cook, but I've done this method enough and I'm pretty comfortable with the smoker um, and I just know it well and it always turns out well, so I just don't need to use a meat thermometer uh, at this moment. But we're gonna uh, go ahead and use this as a mop and we're just gonna hit it once or twice. So it's been about an hour. We're gonna go ahead and add our mop. Uh, as you can see, they're cooking real nice. We're gonna go ahead and dip our mop right in our little mixture there. And mop, ooh, I spread a little bit of the rub. That's no big deal. Uh, when we wrap these up, uh, we'll hit them with the rub again. So not a big deal. We're at our two hour mark, so we're gonna go ahead and transfer these over to some aluminum foil. So I got these on foil. On the bottom, I just used a little uh, cooking spray and a little bit more seasoning. I'm not gonna put any butter on the bottom. On the top, I've added butter and I'm just gonna add some honey. And we're also gonna go back and hit it with some of that Code 3 Spices backdraft rub and wrap her up. We're all ready to wrap her up. Uh, basically, I'm using a, a double layer of aluminum foil. I just found that that works best for me. Uh, I'm going to kind of just wrap the sides up, get the back, get the front, and kind of roll it up like a little care package. And then we'll transfer her back to the smoker. Uh, you want to make sure it's nice and tight so you don't have any leakage. All right, let's open her up. Let's grab it up. Oh, it opened back up. That's all right. We'll slide it on the grill and we'll tighten it back up. No big deal. Still holding temp nice. We're back on the smoker. We're going to close it up for another two hours. All right, two hours have passed. Let's go ahead and open the, the smoker up and we will transfer the ribs from the foil back onto the grill. Uh, by now, you should start to see some bone pool. And uh, they're definitely going to be a lot more tender. Uh, clearly here, uh, they're hot. A <sighs> little hot for <laughs> me to grab. So we'll grab a spatula and we'll use that and we will try our best uh, to get these back on the smoker without uh, uh, tearing the ribs. Uh, looks like we did a good job there. And what I'm going to do is take uh, some of that juice and pour it back on the ribs. And uh, that's a lot of flavor. Uh, we'll recenter, and then we'll uh, dump some of that juice back on. Oh, went a little crazy there, no big deal. And then we're gonna let these go for about another half an hour, and then we'll hit them with some sauce. Little sneak peek, there's that bone pool I was talking about. You definitely wanna look for that. It has been about 30 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and sauce these up with Code 3 Spices Spicy Patriot Sauce. This sauce is delicious. Uh, so we're going to put that on nice. We're going to crank up the smoker up a little bit. I'm running out of daylight. But we're going to go ahead and mop this stuff up on, and we're going to finish it up. Uh, let her go for about another half an hour, and then we're going to pull them off and cut into these buttes. And I think we're going to have some good ribs. And finally, these guys are done. We ran out of daylight, but we got some nightlight. Let's get them on the board and cut them up. Well, these turned out just amazing. Nice little smoke ring, uh, nice and tender, uh, kind of sweet and spicy. Turned out real nice. Thank you guys all for watching, and check out my Instagram page at Rage Against the Kitchen. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.